Hello, my name is Vinokurov Maxim, I'm a founder of a Beer Duke project. I've been engaged in retail and catering for the last five years. And for five years we came to a conclusion that the standard local beer stores format we started with unfortunately dies. The consumer understands that living beer is not some exclusive product, but simply unpasteurized beer that cannot stand for more than three days. The consumer has become more selective and European micropub format is currently more relevant in Russia. Small investments and quick payback – that is what most entrepreneurs actually currently need. Specifically, we are developing the format of a Belgian micropub. We collect our exclusive Belgian beers that are hard to find even in classic restaurants due to the very high cost of purchase. But thanks to small markups and optimization of service, we delight our guests with it. Now I'll tell you about choosing a location for a local beer pub. The basis of a business such as retail or catering is the right choice of location. You often could hear that there are three rules – location, location, location. So, in more detail, there are such factors as car traffic, which is estimated by your advertising potential, such as possibility, but all this should be evaluated only based on the concept of your place. I just want to say that I recommend you starting the choice of location by defining which enterprise concept you will develop. Knowing the concept you understand what kind of guest will come to you, his gender, age, social status, where he works, where he lives. Based on these signs, it becomes much easier to choose a location. It becomes difficult to make a mistake. To assess the commercial potential of starting the Beer Duke project, I personally developed my own mythology, which is based on analysis of the audience on social networks – Facebook, Vkontakte and Instagram. These resources are available to many people, specifically we take data from there compare it with the requirements of our concept, with a portrait of our guest, do a summary analysis, all up analysis using Excel, analyze this with our other projects, with the projects of our partners who personally shared their statistic with me. And at the stage of choosing a location I can already roughly say what the project's revenue will be and its expediency. You can also assess the potential of the premises and the appropriateness of the rent. Rent is a significant component of the potential of commercial premises. If you make a mistake in this figure, then unfortunately a situation may arise in which the landlord earns, but you don't. It's not beneficial for the start of the project and for its investment attractiveness. In order for your new place to comply with the law, you will need professional trading equipment, such as 2D scanner, also the terminal, fiscal registrator, label printer and scales. You will need professional software to make all this equipment work and allow you to quickly serve as guests. Personally, I use the ICO system in my work. The ICO system makes it possible to fully comply with the law, keep a sales register, keep an alcohol register, comply with the requirements of the FSRAR, EJAIS, and also helps you optimize the business process. Specifically, for the micro pub format, ICO saves a lot of money and we don't need either a storekeeper or a purchaser. It significantly saves the payroll. At the same time, full automation and fixing of business processes in the system allows eliminating such thing as theft and catering. If your business processes are built in the way they are embedded in the ICO system, you can be sure that you are working optimally today and get the most out of your business. 
In the concept of a Belgian pub, an integral part is a wide range of bottled beer. There are hundreds of positions. But in order to prevent theft in catering, it is necessary to conduct a very frequent inventory. To save time when entering data from paper media into a computer and even taking into account the remaining goods, Ico Web implements a solution such as mobile inventory. So, using a smartphone, the staff goes through all the positions, sets the quantity on the phone, and this information immediately appears at our merchandiser. Taking inventory now takes an hour. This includes a debriefing, a calculation of the failure and regrading, if any. It doesn't take three days as it was before. The issue of inventory with bottled beer is easily solved using Ico Web. But we also have draft beer. And a thing like Ico helps to easily solve the returnable packaging's problem. When beer arrives at the cater, the bartender glues stickers and draws an empty returnable packaging into the warehouse. Upon returning the goods to a supplier, the bartender just reads the label on each barrel by the terminal. This allows the bartender to write off the returnable packaging from the remnants, keep accurate records, record all operations electronically and not to have conflicts with the supplier. The budget for opening my pub was about 3 or 3.5 three million rubles. Let's talk about rent. Rental and other payments account for approximately 20% of the opening budget. Rental rate in Moscow can vary from 70 to 700,000 rubles. When I have been choosing this premise, I analyzed the audience in nearby houses. I used social networks for this. If you're interested how to do this, write to me, I'll tell you. Equipment costs will be around 35% of your budget. For example, refrigerator, cooler, kitchen equipment, refrigerated tables, glasses, beer towers, beer equipment, hoses, fittings. It's also furniture and range hoods. This is an important expense, but you can save money by buying used equipment. I recommend it. 20% goes to repair. Keep in mind that repairs are very dependent on the condition of the premise you are purchasing. And about 25% of the total cost goes to your product, which you need to have to get started. Please note that if you do not purchase a franchise but start the business on your own, you must pay the costs of designing the bar, the services of a chief to develop a menu, the services of a sommelier to select an assortment, design logos, print stickers, develop advertising, etc. These costs can range from 500,000 rubles to infinity. And finally, save 20% of your budget. Unfortunately, it will come in handy. What is the peculiarity of a beer duke concept? We specialize in mono product, Belgian beer. We are well versed in this product and in our pub an assortment range of more than 400 items is presented. This allows us to focus on a specific guest with a specific portrait, behavior, financial wealth, place of residence and job. You can open any micropub – English, Irish, German, Kraft, even Australian – it doesn't matter. The important thing is what kind of atmosphere the guest is coming for. Here we achieve such an atmosphere trying to make a European design, the breadth of the assortment, bring in exclusive brands that people go to Europe for, to Belgium for example, and see them on our shelves. The important thing is what emotions does the guest feel when he comes to you. It is important keep your bar running in a single state. The important thing is whether the staff understands where they work and what the guest expects from him. Specifically, our guests like it here and they are attracted to this atmosphere. Anyway, your pub is a trend. Atmosphere trend. It seems to me, opening your own place, it is necessary to achieve a balance between the expectations of the guest and the product that you give to him. Your staff 
should be fully consistent with your concept. This is probably the most important thing in the work of any micropub. The bartender behind the bar creates that indescribable atmosphere which people will come for. Personally, I use three criteria when selecting personnel. The first criterion without which a person cannot work in a micropub is charisma. So, you have to recruit people who are sociable, charismatic, cheerful. Sad bartender, bad bartender. The second criterion that is important to me is the ability to learn. For example, we have a large assortment, complex service instructions, sales scripts. A person must be able to remember. Person must be erudite. Look for such people. Look for them. Yes, the search can take many months, but the right person in the right place is the key to success, even if you made some mistakes. Well, the last thing, which is the last, but anyway it's not less important, is his motivation to work in your team. You know, not only money motivates people, especially in the position of a bartender. Most often they are creative people with their own convictions. If your place corresponds to his desires, if the relations in your team correspond to his desires, if his interaction with the cook, the suppliers, with forwarders, with you fully corresponds to his desires, when he will work in a good mood and will share this good mood with your guests. If not, nothing will work. Be sure to pay attention to the little things. The bartender should not be hungry. He should not be cold. His equipment should work clearly. Call technicians instantly. He should be comfortable in all relationships, both personal and working. If you do not comply with one of these requirements, you will lose your main value, your stuff. Remember this. You found the premises, made repairs, recruited competent staff, came up with a cool original idea for Moscow, but where to find guests now and what these guests will look like that is the question personally i solved this problem easier before the opening of this place before the opening of a beer duke in the format of the belgian pub i had three outlets uh, where i used the ico card system this system allows you to track the purchase history of your regular guests i turned to ico specialists and they made me an OLAP report, a cohort analysis, and provided figures for the further business analysis. After analyzing the numbers, I realized what my guests are, what revenue I get, and what products my guests are loyal to. It's very easy to track with ICO math tools. After that, I have been thinking what to various European formats, Moscow formats, and realized that for my guests, I can create a micro pub where I can satisfy all their needs. I was absolutely sure that thanks to these guests I will earn enough money to be profitable. So it happened. In this work we constantly use ABC analysis. My principle is very simple. With a specific frequency I conduct an ABC analysis of my positions by category and if interesting suppliers or interesting new products appear, I simply delete all the positions located below the ABC analysis in the free C group and add new items there. This allows you to constantly rotate the assortment to be interesting in its concept and also not to hold dead positions. When you conduct ABC analysis, it is very important to remember that in the free C group there may be exclusive positions for which the guest will come, for example, from the other side of Moscow. Such positions should be known and maintained. In all other cases, especially if there are seasonal novelties, do not be greedy and worry. Feel free to clean the bottom of the table and add new items that are likely to be in demand and which will supplant something. This process is ongoing. I work with the assortment all year around, watch absolutely all events, news, imports, communicate with suppliers, 
Continuous work allows me to be always in trend. Through this process you will avoid stale goods, which will be covered with dust. But you will do more money, earn more money. If you constantly conduct such a process, your revenue will constantly grow by 5 to 10, possibly by 15% every month. It's a fact. Let's talk about marketing. Of course, for the pub, the law on advertising becomes a stop sign. Internet sites such as Facebook, Instagram, targeting, contextual advertising are not available to us. We do not use manipulations with which you can mislead a guest. We work honestly. But it's important not only to attract a guest. By the way, the location that you have chosen is important for attracting a guest. It is important to keep a guest. And in this situation, the ICO card system from ICO helps us a lot. This is a funded system. That is, each person making a purchase receives a cashback on his card. The system helps you not only to keep guests, but also to analyze them. You can watch their checks, checks and stories in the context of various parameters of all the reports and draw conclusions from here. Adjust your assortment, adjust the work of the bartender's scripts for his sales. It is important to adjust his motivation so that he sells exactly those positions that the guest expects and wants and which are beneficial for your pub. IcoCard helps us with a coupon system, with a promotional code system, with a system of various combo dishes and more. This mechanism helps to track which marketing tools work and which doesn't work. Personally, I used all IcoCard tools and thanks to internal analytics in the system and in the Ico program, I was able to select those that really work. Advertising should not be a waste of money for you, but a source of income. And Ico helps to strengthen the strong and discard the weak. In order for your marketing to work, you must focus on what is interesting to your guest. That is, to offer a discount on goods that you do not sell and are not interesting to anyone is a waste of time and money. A huge amount of advertising materials that are distributed on the streets and offered by other places, this is advertising noise. The guest needs to be snatched out of this advertising noise. And he can only be interested in an interesting price for what he really needs. Do such promotions. To understand what products the guests are coming to you for, use the OLAP report from IcoCard. In the graph of time you can see what they take, what they are going for and where additional sales appear. It's wrong to focus on the report of the seller or the bartender because the figure will not deceive you anyway and the person may be mistaken, unfortunately. Focus on the numbers that IcoCard shows, highlight your locomotive, do interesting promotions on them, attract guests and keep them with your loyalty. It's a win-win option. That is not all. In our work we constantly meet with a huge number of pitfalls. If you are interested in the idea of opening a micropub, here are my contacts, call to discuss. If you still decide to open your own pub, Belgium, Czech or Irish, I've prepared a checklist specially for you. It'll be in the description of the video, follow the link, fill out the feedback form and we'll send it to you. Thank you very much for your attention, goodbye. I can tell you an interesting example of how we used Ico Card to find a locomotive product and created a full house on a newly opened project of Northern Batova. After analyzing the sales, we saw that a huge number of our guests are interested in inexpensive fish that can be used on the grocery table, smoked mackerel. Having made a discount on this product, selling it at the purchase price, we created such a full house that buyers stood in front of the entrance before opening and waited for the opening of our store. When the promotion passed, buyers did not disappear. They continued to come and revenue doubled. After all this, you have nothing to lose. You just sell the product at the purchase price, that's all. 
But at the same time, you do not spend money on advertising but get a large number of loyal guests.